Hello guys, welcome to the episode 26 of this series of tutorials on creating the web API and consuming it with MVC in ASP.NET Core 3.1. So I shall be continuing to upload one episode every day till this series of episodes on the tutorial playlist finishes out. And I shall walk through editing the default index view in the home controller in this lecture and these episodes and the code base are built in continuation from the previous ones. So I strongly suggest you to go through the previous ones before viewing this one. And there are plenty of useful takeaways if you view the tutorials from start to finish. And finally, a request to please subscribe to the channel and share it with the like-minded. So by the end of this lecture, we shall edit the index view of our home controller to render a customized view at start. So let's switch over to Visual Studio now. Now we have got a simple template, uh, view data title homepage. Now let's make this as index. You can keep it as homepage, doesn't worry me too much. And here, instead of welcome let's also write this as index okay and rather than uh, you will get rid of this part okay and instead uh, let me write it in an h2 header okay h2 header Make sure your API project is running. Then an anchor tag. And anchor and within anchor and anchor. I'll just delete this. Control V and then uh, EHRF. This is a link that I am creating, which is not there at the moment but it will be eventually there when we create the customer controller. Okay, so this H2 will be outside header and H2 tag will be outside the link and here I will write click here. Click here. All right, and I don't need the div Pass over here. Just keep it simple. You don't need to give any class over here. And control S to save the project, to save the file. And then target blank attribute. Now this target blank attribute, as you might be knowing if you are coming from an HTML background, that it will open this customer page in a new window rather than occupy the same space as the home page. It, it will not replace the home page, but it will open the customer in a new page. So in this lecture, we have seen how to edit the index view which was automatically created when you generated the project with the MVC template to render a view that is according to our needs. 